Hello friends, Swaroop here. I'm going to start a new video series on C Sharp and specifically on Windows Form. Well, this particular series will help you to have a good understanding over how to create console based softwares using GUI different tools as provided by Microsoft. Uh, the ID which I'm using over here is Visual Studio 2010 because this is one of the standard ID and I will be starting from the very beginning and I'm very sure if you just follow the steps what I'm going to implement you can come across with a different kind of small small utilities and it will surely help you to create even future project as well. So let's go to the option called file and over here I will choose the option called new project and since we are going to work on visual C sharp so be careful that over here you have got visual basic this is not what I am going to choose I will come across visual C sharp and I am going for windows so I will choose windows and here I have got the option called windows form control the .NET framework which I am using is 3.5. Now before I click, be very careful about the location where you are going to save your file. So let's me change the location. I go to the browse option and from browse, I come to the, basically you can come down to your documents. From here you will get the option called Visual Studio 2010. And from here you will get the option called projects. So get into the project now you can create a folder over here so that's what i will be doing it i will be creating a folder over here so windows form this is based on windows form so i'm creating a folder by the name called windows form it's up to you to decide what particular folder you are choosing and then i click the select folder so that's the path that got created now you have to give the name to this particular application so over here i'm going to show you how to perform a basic summation by taking input from the user so i give the name as add and i've already chosen windows form application which is based on visual c sharp and then i will click the ok button once you do that you will find a form will be coming in front of you and here it is this is the font which i was talking about so let me just this uh, share you the environment over here you have got a solution explorer which is basically going to work as a container for the given project as you can see the project name is add you have the file called form one which i will be changing the name so i will simply right click on form one and i will uh, just change the name of the file be very careful just that is you don't remove the extension the extension is dot cs c sharp so i'm giving the form name as frm this is like an abbreviation representing it's a form and I'm going for the operation add. So I'm writing add.cs. That will help me to understand later on when you will be having multiple forms, which particular form you're working. And it will ask you that, do you want to rename the form? I say, yes, that's what I want to do. And the form got renamed, okay? So this is how you are going to rename the form. Now, this particular form, you have got properties. So from here, you can get the properties option. So this particular properties option will help you to change the attributes of this particular form you can say so so i have given the name of the form as frm underscore add and i have to give the title to this particular form because you can see over here the text is showing as form one which is not like what i want prefer i will say that uh, i'm going to perform calculate so as per your uh, choice you can change the text of this particular or you can say the caption of this particular form okay that's fine with me so up to this whatever we have done let me save the file and if you want you can just go and execute and just see how the thing is going well the build operation is taking place and this is what you can see this is the windows form which you can see over here see the name of the form or the caption or the text which i have given that is appearing as a title of this regular form okay so let me close the form and let me carry on with my work over here on the left hand side you will get the option called toolbar let me expand the toolbar so that i can use both the things simultaneously okay so what i will be doing is that i have to provide a proper caption and for that i will be using something called label so i will simply double click on the label and the label will come right over here so it's pretty small so what i will do is that i will change the attribute 
I will change its font. So I come to the option font. I will click this and over here it will prompt you with the font dialog box from where you can choose the respective font of your choice. So I can go for Vardana. This is a font which I prefer and I can go for bold. Let me give the font as 11. Okay. Press OK. Sufficiently large enough. Much more clear than what it was initially. I will come to the text option. I will say first number. Okay. So it's looking pretty cool. Fine. So this is the first label. I will change the name of the label as well. Since it's a label, so I'm writing as an abbreviation LBL underscore one. So it will represent label one. Okay. That's nice. And over here, now I have to display the I have, to, I have to display the text. So if I go and run, you will find, see over here, the caption is coming. So now the user will be prompted to enter input. So I will be going for text box. So scroll down, alphabetically order these components have been placed. So double click on that and you will get the text box right over here. So you can increase the width of the text box as of your choice. And here also you can do the same thing. You have to give a proper naming convention you have to follow. Okay, so that you don't confuse yourself later on. So txt represent text box that's the way i am putting it's your choice whatever convention you are practicing you can go with that you can change the font again go for vardana and this time i'm going for bold and i'm taking the input a little bit larger than the caption i'm pressing ok the text box also got expanded okay fine that's all with this text box it is pretty fine so what i will be doing is that every time i'm changing this particular font so i'm just copying this particular font so the next time i don't have to go and click the dialog box okay so now i have to take the next label once again so because i have to take the second input as well so i double click on the label and the label comes over here and i properly aligned i come over here and i just paste the option the moment i do that i will just change the uh, font to 11 okay because that's the font which i was following initially see 11 11.25 okay that's fine 11.25 that's fine okay so let me just give a name to this lay component lbl is the name which i am following and it's going to be two and scroll down so that you give a proper text so this is going to be second number all right okay that's nice so looking pretty cool so now what i will do is that i can again go and play and it's pretty fine so now i will be taking the next text box so i will click on the text box the text box comes down properly aligned and first change the name this thing you have to be very careful because later on i will be using this name while i'm going for the programs so i come to the font and i'm just pasting the font back so it's pretty nice i will expand it yes that's fine so if you see over here, user will provide some number over here, suppose one, one, whatever number you are feeling you are going for it. But I need to provide a component. When I will click that component, a particular event will be taking place. So I need another GUI component via which some action is going to perform. So I am taking the option called button. As I double click, the button comes over here. So this is a button for performing BTN for performing add okay that's the name i have given again it's all your choice you are free to choose whatever name you want i'm changing the font style and it's looking pretty good so i can write like this pen oh or else i can make it a little bit smaller uh instead of writing 10 i am going for 9 okay and uh let me expand the button a little bit okay that's fine so what I can do now is I have to change the caption to add. That's nice. Okay. One more thing I want to do is that underneath this button uh, or I, I'm ready to say underneath this text, I want to give a underscore for the first, for the first character. Okay. So I will use something called ampersand. If I do that, just see over here. Okay. Let me just run the program. You will be clear enough. See over here. Okay. It's not showing actually. If you go later on, I will tell you the role of this. I'm just giving you, because when I will show you something called menu bar, then I will talk about this ampersand. Okay, just for the time being, keep the ampersand as it is. Okay, fine. That's nice enough. So now what I will be doing is, 
I will be writing the code for this and one more button I will take one more button because I have to close this window also no after the work is done I have to close this window even so I'm expanding this button and this button represent the close btn underscore close okay that's the name I have given I have to change the font even so control V I went for the last time as font size 10 so I'm going still for that and this is going to be close okay and person close okay now it's pretty nice so if I run the code and yeah the window is pretty nice what I will do I will reduce I will reduce the little bit from the left hand side I will reduce the width a little bit so that it looks almost the same yeah I'm just selecting both them both of these button by pressing the shift key you can go for multi multiple component you can select it yeah now it is pretty nice and good looking okay that's fine so now I will go for the operation okay so for that what I need to do is that I have to write the coding so I don't need this toolbar anymore I can collapse it I don't need this property anymore I can collapse it so what I will do is that I will be writing code and when the user will hit the button then the calculation will take place so for that reason I will double click on this particular button the moment I do that you will find the code window getting open if you see over here the button btn was a component name add was the like if you come over here once again go to the two properties you have given the name as btn underscore add so that what the name that comes along with that it has added something called event binding this is the event binding which is added even over here you can also see the event binding that has taken place now what type of event it is it is a click event that means the user when will click this particular button a perform it will perform some action okay so what the action is going to perform so for that i have to declare a couple of variables so i'm taking a variable as int uh suppose i'm writing one because it will take the input for the first and i've taken i've input for another one and i'm going to store the total so i have taken three variables fine but hey wait the point is the input will first be given in the text box and we know very well this particular text box has a data type called text so what I have to do is that I have to go for type casting this thing you have to be very careful so I will write the variable one equals to convert to to int 32 int 32 okay so this is a function which is going for the type casting where from it will be converted from the text box txt1 that's the name I have given dot text okay so this is something which you have to be very careful so that means the user is going to provide an input which is by default going to be of type text. We are implementing something called type casting through the help of the class called convert, which is giving a call to a method and it is taking a text as parameter as input and it will return me an integer value. So let me copy the same thing because I have to do it twice for the next text box or the next button you can or the next uh, variable you can say so. So txt2 fine thing is cool now we will go for the addition dot equals to one plus two we did the addition and I have to display the message so for that reason I am this I'm using something called message box dot show and here I'm going to provide the proper string format the string format would be something like this sum of code close I'm going for concatenation one and this will look actually nice it's a well presentable manner plus the next variable quotation close is and here you are going for the uh, for the variable which is holding the total so the total is going to be the dot so this is how you are going to generate your string the sum of the first variable and the second variable is the third variable okay so this particular box will be printed so let me go and run the program now okay so here i'm supposed to give the input so i'm giving input as one one i'm pressing the tab to bring it down and i'm clicking the add button and the result is coming pretty smooth some of this and this is this okay but if i click the close button nothing is going to work because i didn't give any code for the code button for the close button so let's go and write the close button event as well so i will be giving a call to system dot windows System dot windows. Just a minute. Uh, 
windows dot forms because I'm going to close the forms which is basically my application application and what I'm going to do I'm going for exit I'm going to give a call to the exit so this is the method exit okay so system is the name of the namespace inside that you have a folder called windows inside that you have got another folder called forms inside that you have a class called application and that class has a method called exit so that will give a call to the exit method so let's go and run the program now yeah so i'm going to provide some other value fine i click that the result comes smoothly and in order to close i will simply close the button i will click the button and the application gets closed so i believe this particular small program help you to understand how to take the input from the user how to handle the different event binding process and it gives you a very basic idea about the form control that comes in c sharp well just wait for my next video and over there i will be showing you a few more explanation about few more procedures so until then have a nice time